Welcome back, everybody. This is Roy McQueen from NC Tech Lutions. And now picking up from where we left off, when in the last video, we installed PhoneGap and got the Hello World app to work. Now in this video, we will continue the final setup and introduce you into jQuery Mobile. Then we will build an app that you can use as a reference. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, we need to remove a filter so we can have access to our assets folder. Okay, so now open up our index.html. This is our app's home page and where we can do all of our editing. Now you might already have an editor with that you can select, but if not, let's go ahead and install one. So what we do is we go to the help menu and scroll down to install new software. And inside the work with box, go ahead and put this site. Scroll down here and select Eclipse Web Developer Tools and JavaScript Development Tools. Now once this is done installing, go ahead and restart Eclipse. Okay, now let's open up the index.html inside an editor and also our CSS and JavaScript file inside of, a, inside of an editor. Okay, now I wanna shift gears and talk about jQuery Mobile. In short, jQuery Mobile is a framework for creating mobile web ap applications, and it's built using HTML5 and CSS3. Now, it provides touch-friendly UI widgets that are specifically styled for mobile devices. Okay, I don't want to bore you with the details, so let's just jump right in. Uh, we need to go over to the jQuery Mobile site and get the latest version. Create a new folder and extract the contents to that folder. Uh, take out the demos folder and the zip. Now drag this new folder into your www folder that's inside of the assets folder. You know, the one that we uh, removed the filter to and that I showed you earlier. Next inside of that demo folder, there should be a JS folder inside You want to drag over the jQuery core file over into your project's JS folder. And now in our index.html, we need to include the style sheet reference to the jQuery mobile CSS file and also two JavaScript references to the jQuery mobile and jQuery core framework.js files.
Now let's 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 get into the code and let's start to add some jQuery Mobile specific code. Now jQuery Mobile recognizes that there are certain aspects of the code that should be defined as a page by the data role attribute uh, specified within a div tag. We create a div tag block with the data role set to header and a second with the data role set to footer. We'll also create a new div tag with the data role attributes set to content. This is the content of the page. Now let's save this and run it and let's see what we get. Okay, now we you see we get this error right here. Now this is because we're using the emulator and the emulator is very slow to load so uh, I have a workaround for this if you must use the emulator uh, but for the rest of the video series I'm going to use a real phone to show you these examples So now after it loads, you see that we have a header, we have a footer, and we have a, the content area. So it's pretty simple. Now in the next videos, I'm going to go deeper into this, and you, I'll get you up to speed to where you'll be creating mobile apps in no time. So I'll see you then.